This video is about rolling back to the previous build or deleting updates in Windows 10. Windows 10 installs updates in the background mode, and most often users learn about updates only after they were installed. There are ways to disable automatic updates in Windows 10, but if your computer has already got some updates installed and they are causing problems, you can delete or cancel such updates. This is the topic of today's video. The previous update for Windows 10 Anniversary Update, or Build 1607, didn't make too many users happy. In some systems, settings were reset, apps stopped working, and sometimes computers could not boot. In today's video, expecting the issue of another Windows 10 build, Creators Update, let's talk about rolling back to another build. This method will work with any build of Windows 10. We will see how to roll back system updates from a good working copy of Windows and what to do when the system won't boot. So if you want to return to the previous build of Windows 10, go to the Start menu, Settings, Update and Security, Recovery. Then press Get started next to Go back to an earlier build. Preparations underway. The further rollback process it looks similar to rolling back Windows 10 or 8 to Windows 7. You can see it in one of our videos, and you can find the link in the description. After a brief preparation, the system will ask you why you want to go back. This information will be sent to Microsoft. Choose any of the suggested variants and click Next. The next window asks if you want to check updates. Click No thanks. The next window will inform you that some system settings you have changed after you upgraded to a new build of Windows 10 will not be saved if you go back to the older build. You will also see a recommendation to create a backup copy of your data in case any problems arise. Next. Here comes another window informing you that you should remember your account password. Next. At the final stage, when Microsoft thanks you for trying out a new build of Windows 10, click on Return to the previous version of Windows. The rollback process is automatic and it will take some time. After a brief preparation, your computer or laptop will restart and you will see a window telling you about restoring the previous build of Windows. You will only have to wait a few minutes and the other build of Windows will be back after another restart. With this method, all settings of a previous build can be restored within 10 days after the update, but they will be cancelled automatically later. If you use any cleanup utilities, you may accidentally delete recovery data before you start the rollback, so it won't work. So be attentive. You can also roll the system back to the previous build from the Advanced Startup options. This method will come in handy if Windows won't boot after another update. In this case, the Advanced Startup settings menu will appear automatically if the system can't boot for three times in a row. You can also start it by booting from a recovery drive. Watch our video to see how to create a recovery drive and use it to boot your computer. Find the link in the description. But now, select Troubleshooting, Advanced Settings, go back to an earlier build. The actual rollback process starts now. Select an account to continue. Enter its password in the next window and then click on Go back to an earlier build to confirm your decision and start the rollback. Wait for the rollback to finish and when it is over, you will have the previous version of your system completely ready to use. If you have any questions, ask them in comments and we will answer you. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. That is all for now. Thanks for watching.